This week in Nerf, we've got new motors, mod swaps, and magazines. I'm Jangular, and this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news every Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Pacific. So let's get right on into it. Let's start with those brand new motors. These are motors from Blaster Parts. Now, they are not available just quite yet. This image was shared on their Facebook page, and their motors are called the BP Max 1s. But it's Blaster Parts Max 1, I assume 1 being the first motor motor in what potentially could be a line of motors. We don't know yet, but what we do know is this is going to be uh, apparently a 3S oriented motor, which is focused on being usable with IMR batteries, which means it's going to have a low draw compared to some of the other motors on the market. This makes sense for blaster parts because they sell voltage mod kits, which utilize IMR batteries. And that is something that is not currently readily available to nerfers that don't want to step into the LiPo uh, range of batteries, but do want to try and upgrade the performance. We often have to try and push them to go towards those LiPo batteries to be able to have the proper power source to support the motors we use in our hobby. So this is definitely something we didn't really specifically have. So it's interesting to me that Blaster Parts is doing this. They are stepping into that arena, that part of the motor market that is not uh, as saturated as other parts are. So this is something that I'm going to be very much keeping my eye out on and will be interested in how they perform with those IMR batteries because again you're not getting the same draw that you would from a lipo battery and using the stock battery tray with the little like metal tabs and bits that will reduce the performance and the way the the, uh, the electricity flows through all that stuff regardless very interesting very uh yeah very much looking forward to these to see how they do once people have them in hand and are actually using them in builds and uh, what kind of performance we're getting from them. I don't have a price for them yet, but when we do, and when they do release, we will certainly let you know. Uh, let me know what you think of this one, because I'm curious, those of you that may still be using IMRs or AA size cell batteries that have a higher uh, output than standard AA's, do you like this? Is this a good option for you? I'm I think this is interesting. So yeah, let, let me know your thoughts down below. But let's go to the next topic, and that topic is the Brit Nerf Mod Swap Fundraiser. Now, uh, Brit Nerf does a mod swap, and this year, to accommodate for people that may have to back out or something happened that prevented them from being able to finish their project, they had a surplus of blasters that people offered to build for it. Because they have that surplus now, they had to decide what to do with them. So they thought, why not do something good? Why not auction the blasters off and the proceeds go to a charity? I think that's awesome. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And the charity they've chosen is the National uh, Autistic Society, which is a UK-based uh, fundraiser that helps spread awareness and influence government decisions on policy regarding things that affect people with uh, autism, Asperger's, and other related or similar uh, things they have to deal with. So this is something that I think is a really good cause and really great thing to try and raise awareness and funds for because it's helping people. And I, anytime we can use Nerf to try and help people, that's like, I mean, come on. Why would we not want to do that? So there are currently three blasters up on eBay uh, that you can bid on. The auction is going through September 7th, I believe. And it is free shipping wherever you are international as long as you have a postal service that they can ship to. So that's pretty cool that you just, whatever you bid is what you're going to pay. You don't have to worry about the shipping. And the money's going to a good cause. Like, what's not to love about this? So there's a few builds, and uh, I will have the link to the Britner post with all of the information and details on each build and links to the eBay stuff down below for you to check out. So please, please go check that out. Above anything else this week, go check those out. Because if there's something you want, and you can help some people throughout the course of getting the thing you want, why not? But let's go ahead and jump into our next topic for the day, which is Katana Mags. Not the Jet Blaster Katana Mags, but the Katana Mags, uh, produced by Ton. 
and these are available now open source for everyone to print and start using. These are something we talked about a little while back as one of the uh, open source options that are coming about and they are here. They utilize drum springs that you can pick up from Foam Blast and the most interesting part of these and one of the big reasons we're talking about them is that they have expandable uh, storage sizes essentially or magazine sizes. Uh, they have like 10 dart sections and then they have like coupler extensions that you can print out and add more body pieces to further extend and then use a butt plate to uh, pick your, uh, your uh, capacity essentially, which is really interesting and really kind of cool. It's a neat idea that gives you a little bit of flexibility with what you want. So you want a 20 dart magazine? You want a 10 dart magazine? Sure, go for it. You want to try a a 30 dart magazine? It might be a little long, but I think you can do it because the uh, drum springs from Foam Blast are for 35 dart drums. So if that functions the same, you may be able to pull off some rather long magazines. But regardless, those are available now and uh, all of the the thought and theory and, and instructions and everything are on the Thingiverse listing. I've included both the uh, Facebook post and the Thingiverse, Thingiverse listing down below because uh, i got to get as much information for you as possible. There were a couple other things I wanted to talk about today, but I wanted to wait until I have a little bit more information on them, so I will hopefully be talking about those next week. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the mod of the week, and this week... It was one of those weeks where there were a lot of cool mods and a lot of cool stuff showcased and I had to go back and forth to decide which one to showcase. But this, this one is from Carius and this is a Nerf modified Boomco MA5. So it takes the Boomco MA5 shell, drops a Raven integration into it and makes it a functional Nerf blast that looks awesome performs, they've actually updated it to have a two-stage system to help with the extremely long barrel that's inside. Uh, they've made a switch system functional so that it can not only serve as a functional Nerf blaster, but you can turn the Nerf blaster components off and turn on lights and just have it as a cosplay prop that is inoperable in terms of actually firing things, which would make it legal for most conventions. So there's just a lot going on with this that I really, really liked. There's actually a video going into the entire process and uh, all of that. So that is something you should definitely check out. But this is a build that I thought was really cool. And I think a lot of people really wanted to see a nerf version of the Halo Assault Rifle. So that's that was just something I felt like it needed to be shared. So go check that one out because it's definitely a cool one. But let's move on to the video of the week. This one, if you watch gameplay videos, this should be no surprise to you. This week we're talking about TK113-8's Atomic Dart League Ion Rush gameplay footage. This is from one of their more recent events, and this is some amazing gameplay footage. Uh, it utilizes two drones, it has uh, screens to showcase all the players, their player numbers and names, so that way if you see a number and a jersey on the field in the video, you know which person that is. Uh, it ha keeps track of which players are still up on the field and active and what the scores, all this. It's just fantastic gameplay footage that makes me really excited for the future of competitive nerf. That we have people working on things like this as well to try and push this further and further. It just gets me amped and uh, it, it pushes me to want to continue to do better and better with my competitive nerf gameplay footage and stuff like that. And I hope that it does the same for everyone else interested or involved in these things. So I, just go watch it. It's, it's not that long of a video. It's a great watch and I highly, highly recommend it. So please go check that out. One more thing to say as always is thank you so much to everyone that supports this channel, whether you are just watching the video, you're sharing the video, liking the video, or if you're supporting on Patreon to help us continue to grow and have access to more and more things to bring you all the content we do three times a week here on this channel. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video and you like getting your Nerf news, you like uh, reviews, you like gameplay footage, feel free to join us join the community we'd love to have you uh, with that said as always thank you so much for watching i'm jangular and i'll see you next time